News of that release is hard for many families of the victims to hear tonight. And after nationwide attention last night on 60 Minutes, the painful memories come flooding back. Here's Corey Marshall. Harold and Peggy Steinfeld, Abraham and Bernice Simon, Paul Hedeville Sr. These pictures, these people are a piece of history permanently tied to a Tucson tragedy. My memories are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, someone that uh, was a, a dad. For the last four decades, Paul Hedeville avoided talking about the fire that killed his dad, his namesake because it's all just too hard. I now have it uh, a prominent story once again has, uh, has really opened uh, old wounds. Hedeville's father had been staying in the Pioneer Hotel on business. The rest of his family had planned to fly to Tucson for Christmas. But then his three-month-old brother got sick and they couldn't travel. During the fire, um, they, they found that he had Christmas presents in his room. So we were very much... Um, Supposed to be supposed to be traveling here. Still hoping his family would make it out, Hedeville's father moved up a few floors to a larger room because he was higher up. Firefighters couldn't get to him. When you think about all of this, too, you're four years old when it happened, but thinking back, especially, I'm sure all of this kind of brings up memories for you, too, when you found out what had happened and you think about it now as an adult. What comes to mind? What comes to mind is, uh, is sadness. Um, there's a, a person who was meant to be very influential in my life that uh, was taken away. Sadness he still feels today. Corey Marshall, KGA 9 on your side. By the way, Paul plans to speak at Tuesday's release hearing. And